Let's not get our eyes off what's truly important in the kingdom of God, for he values a loving relationship over our works. Top of the morning to you. When we consider who we are in Christ with the mind of Christ and a firm determination to get to know God personally and more fully, and we read Revelation chapters 2 and 3, we learn how God sees us and what he expects of his churches. He addresses seven different churches, with, uh, each with their own strengths and weaknesses. We as believers can learn from what God appreciates and values and what he despises. Patience seems to be, a by, uh, be an attribute that God desires from us, specifically patient endurance. In other words, not getting defeated just because various trials and troubles happen. God appreciates when we don't grow weary or become exhausted, giving in, quitting the race. He appreciates how we may be poor in the world's standard, standards. He still considers us rich. He promises in Revelation 2.10, If we are loyally faithful unto death, he will give us the crown of life. He appreciates it when we hold fast to our faith in his name, that power and authority, despite ser- seeing people suffer and even die for doing so in our midst. Revelation 2.13 God notices our love, faith, and service to him. He keeps up with our frequency at which we work. He reminds us in uh, 2.23 that I am the one who searches the minds and the innermost hearts, and I will reward each as they deserve. Even to those whom he says, I can't find a thing you've done, Revelation 3.2, he encourages them, it's not too late, just remember the lessons you learned. Revelation 3.10, those who keep and guard God's word, he will keep safe during the upcoming hour of trial and testing which is coming upon the whole world. Even those who are lukewarm in their faith, he tells in Revelation 3.18, purchase from me gold tested by fire. In these two chapters, God is also very, is, uh, is clear about what is not acceptable and gives us direction to repent and turn from those things. After all, Revelation 3.19, I tell them their faults, convict and convince and reprove and chasten them, only those that I love, I dearly love. So don't draw back, but be enthusiastic, earnest, and burning with zeal. Verse 20, if anyone hears, listens, and obeys my voice and, and opens, the book, opens the door to me, I will come in to him. I will eat with him, and they will, they will eat with me. Verse 21, those who overcome get to sit on the throne with Christ. Words of encouragement. One of the sad moments in Revelation 2 is how many great accomplishments the church of Ephesus had, yet God was very disappointed with them and how they left their first love. In other words, deserting, deserting God uh, amidst their accomplishments. Our Father wants us to keep focus on what He holds dear, relationship, obedience from the heart, while not neglecting the work that he has prepared for us since the beginning of time. Have a great day.